All right, guys, good morning. Uh, I bought another bus. Uh, this is actually gonna be my first rear engine that I've owned personally. This is 2006 Bluebird All American RE. Got a Caterpillar in it. Um, it needs some work, but I got, a, I got a pretty good deal on this bus when I got it. Um, it's an 84 passenger. Um, like I said, I know it needs some work. I'm probably going to end up repainting this whole thing. Um, I know it's got to have rear tires. It's got good batteries in it. And that hinge is broken on that door. So that needs to be fixed. 275-4C7. This bus is actually pretty quick. I like it. Um, I drove it a good bit yesterday. Um, it's got an oil leak. I put an oil pan gasket on it yesterday or day before. And uh, it's still leaking, but it's not leaking there anymore. That was a leak, but the other leak is coming from where the air compressor mounts up to the timing cover right there. This one does have AC. Unfortunately, I got a get some components i am going to end up replacing both of those compressors flushing the system changing the expansion valve dryers and just redoing the total ac system on it um i gotta put some a shock on that door or two shocks on that door and change that hinge so 84 passengers the former oak ridge schools out of tennessee Bus, bus number 1940. Uh, somebody, maybe at some point, has got some pictures of this bus way back when, but I think it used to have luggage bays under it. Uh, me and Jerry were talking about that. You know, these uh, little catches for the doors. I don't know, maybe this bus got hit at some point and they just took them off, or I don't, I don't know what they end up ended up doing for that. It's got the blue floor. Um, it kind of looks gray, kind of looks blue. When I went back and looked in, in Bluebird, it's showing the blue floor. And I know it's nasty in here. Um, it needs cleaning. It's a high headroom unit. It's got AC, 84 capacity. Um, this bus drives good. Like I said, it needs some work done to it. Uh, it's got the side door there. I know it needs front end work. Kingpin specifically, um, more than likely. I don't know which axle is under this bus. I know on the visions of this uh, vintage, you have to replace the entire axle beam on the front axle instead of you know beating Kingpins out and putting new ones in. Uh, it's got a lot of heaters under it. Um, it's got a dual set here. Go back. I know I'm going back and forth this morning, guys. I haven't, I really haven't woken up yet. Um, I thought it was another one back here somewhere. Huh. They are somewhere. Anyway, I know there's some there. There's two there, and they're back there somewhere. I, I just don't, I don't feel like finding them. <laughs> they're there. Um, it's got another set back there in the back. It's got a driver heater down here up beside the driver's foot. Um, it's got a MD3060 transmission in it, only a five speed, which I'm going to see about getting the um, six gear unlocked in this one. If anybody wants to go and look at it, it's got the 538 rear end. Not bad, but I really want to get six gear unlocked. That way, I'm not running in such a bind to run 70 mile an hour. Uh, it's got an air door on it. If anybody wants to look it up in Vantage, there's the VN. Air horn, a fan here, fan there, fan there. Um, got heated mirrors, you know, you got three fans, got the three dome lights, and then your driver dome, which doesn't work. I think the bulb is blown. It is equipped with a radio slash PA, but the PA mic is missing. Um, when I first got it, none of those gauges worked. Uh, uh, well, most of them. The speedometer worked. I think that was just about it. Um, 
I had a spare cluster. I changed those three gauges, uh, changed that one, and uh, as well as that volt gauge. And now I got a speedometer out of another all American cluster that I had bought. Let's do a startup on it here. Not a bad unit. Uh, I might need to stitch a video of the outside startup. I know you can't really hear much in here. Um, uh, yeah, I got the what you call it flip. I'm not getting up there. But then you got your AC controls, door controls, and uh, one light control, transmission controls, all right here on this panel. Got this panel all the way down here just for heaters. Parking brake control is an air brake unit. It is an air ride rear unit. There's the dog. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I mean, it's a pretty good unit. Um, uh, I mean, I know it's going to have to have some work done to it, but I'm happy with it. But more to come on this one.